Welcome back to the Core Cards News Tech Lab. Today we're taking a look at 10 100% free Fire TV apps. Now we all know of Netflix, we all know of Hulu. My hope here is we're going to discover something that you may not have known about, or maybe something you heard about and haven't tried to get more of your Fire TV. Even if you have cable, hey, there's a lot of 100% free content out there that's really good you should probably be taking advantage of. Now, if you're new here, hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, it really does help us. Helps me reach more people and hopefully helps you discover more about the world of cord cutting and your Fire TV. Now, we do all kinds of videos like this on a range of different players, so if a Fire TV is not yours, check out our videos for Apple, Roku, and more. Now, these 10 apps are in no particular order. They're my favorite ones. Had to always leave some out when you're doing 10, there's always more you want to put on it. If there's one I didn't cover that you like, like, leave me a comment. I'd love to hear from you. And keep it limited, though, to the official Fire TV app store, and maybe your suggestion will appear in a future video. First up, in no particular order, is Hoopla. This used to be called Hoopla Digital. I think the website still is hoopladigital.com, but they've just kind of shortened it to Hoopla. And this is a service that you get with your Fire, with your public library um, card. Now, not all libraries use Hoopla Digital, some use Canopy or other services, but Hoopla is kind of one of the bigger ones that was the first one on the Fire TV that did this. And what you do is you, if your local library supports it, and most of them support one or the other, you take your library card, you enter it on their website, the little member ID, and it allows you to link and create an account here so you can borrow movies and TV shows digitally without ever having to walk into the local library. Now the library still has a ton of movies and DVDs and more, that's really great. But here through this you can see stuff like Hamilton, that um, hit Broadway show is available for streaming. Uh, the Ruth Bader Ginsburg di um, documentary um, is, I hope I didn't butcher her name, my apologies if I did, is available and a ton of other content like classics like Bridget Jones's Diary to newer um, movies and TV shows. So this is movies. Let's take a look at the TV. A lot of Nickelodeon, a lot of Lego, a lot of kid-friendly stuff. PBS, a lot of BBC British content with their Acorn TV partnership is available here um, and more. And they really do do a good job of bringing in a large and rotating collection of content. SpongeBob is here and more. Canopy has different content, but they also have some great content. And again, it's 100% free. You get it by going to your public library and saying, hey, do you support Hoopla? Do you support Canopy? What you do? They probably have a page on their website explaining what to do. Your taxpayer dollars support the public library. Even if they don't have a streaming service, check out their DVDs. I'll hear from a lot of people, hey, I don't go to Redbox anymore. I go to the public library. They have current movies, great lineup, 100% free. So check that out. Next up is Pluto TV. If you've seen me do this before, you've probably seen me talk about Pluto TV, it is by far one of the most popular. It's really done a great job of stepping up the content they offer. Like here, Superman 2 is being streamed, Batman Begins come up, comes up next, tons of movies, but it doesn't just stop at all these movie channels. News, lifestyle, culture, 24-7 TV channels. Like here's CBS News, NBC News. While CBS News may be a 24-7 live feed, NBC News would be a collection of videos taken today and curated in a playlist. Other ones like Cheddar and uh, Newsmax and Sky News, Weather Nation for News, even sports. Hey, Fox Sports is in here now. Uh, again, not 24 seven, but um, all the news kind of clips from the day all put together right there and more. They even have 24 seven channels now, which includes the ability to watch um, 24 seven Gordon Ramsay shows, 24 seven Unsolved Mysteries and more all through here. Um, their movie on demand catalog, well, obviously plays whenever you want. In the Line of Fire, Batman Begins, as we were just seeing some of them there. And here, tons of like Fox programming and other programs, you know, Hell's Kitchen, um, Kitchen Nightmares, Unsolved Mystery, Dog, and more. Dog the Bounty Hunter, excuse me. Um, let's keep on going. Last chance to watch. They rotate this content a lot. Just kind of breeze right through here. Dust Boot, a very classic film. Um, is available here. So really done a great job of bringing in more content. And they've announced that Discovery content is coming to Pluto TV. Now, it's not gonna be the live channels, but it is gonna be a selection of curated channels and on-demand content from Discovery's back catalog, including scripts content. So Discovery, TLC, and more HGTV will be coming to Pluto TV in the near future. Great way to just to have something in the background. Now, Weather Nation is on other services now, Pluto TV being one of the main one. Now, what is Weather Nation? It is a 24-7 uh, weather channel, kind of like Classic Weather Channel, 
where you can watch a live feed, which will appear here in a second, and you can click on that to make it go full screen. Or the great thing I love about the app that makes it worth the download is the ability to have current conditions. I wanna say, hey, what's the 10 day forecast? I click on that. I can get more details about it there. I can see, oh, there's some severe weather. They even have on demand. So let's say I'm getting in bed at night. I love weather. Let's just see top um, 10 extreme weather events of 2018. 2018 hurricane recap season. You also go in and say, hey, on demand, top news, um, weather from the day, uh, look at different markets. You can say, hey, I wanna look at the Midwest or the Southeast and more Eastern forecast, Western Caribbean, um, Central forecast and more. So it's a really great ability to have on demand content there and be able to say, hey, I wanna watch this specific thing right now and just get a kind of recap of the biggest weather stories from the past day. But with you know hurricanes and more happening, it's always good to have this available. Now, news is always a big one I get asked about with, hey, I don't have a TV, how can I watch news? Now there's a growing number of these out here. Uh, for instance, CBS was one of the first ones to really hit this big in the Fire TV, where they have now a 24 seven feed of news. Plus you can go down here and select individual stories if you wanted to find out about those. But with elections coming up again, I know it feels like we just got over that, but hey, we're already back into it. CBS News did a really good job with the last big election season. They had many of the presidential debates and either other town halls from um, Senate races and more streaming for free on there if they were sponsored by CBS. The other thing, it's just kind of great if there's a big news event to have one of these, whether it be CBS or one of the other ones out there that do this too, um, check it out. Have one or two just sitting on your Fire TV just to know that, hey, maybe cable went out, maybe satellite, if you have a satellite dish, rain is blocking it. A um, couple of presidential elections ago, I was watching the debate with Obama and Mitt Romney. Rain came in and knocked it out right in the middle of one of the best parts. Now, back then, um, this wasn't available. So I had to get my phone out and start streaming the audio of it. But if that had happened nowadays, I would just click over on CBS. Of course, I'm a cord cutter, so that would probably be one of my first options right off the bat. But it's great to have that as an option at a backup, even if you have cable. All right, next up is Twitch. Now you're probably saying, Luke, I don't like sport or uh, gaming. I'm not somebody who's going to watch people play Mario Kart, right? Don't worry, I got you covered with this one. Now, Twitch started off as just a 24-7 place to watch people um, play games. They've really expanded recently. Um, and one of the big things they did was a Thursday night NFL football was added for free on Twitch. You can watch the full game here. But many other places have recently jumped in. Buzzard is a free OTA network, and I'm not gonna do this for long. You see, now you can zoom in on this. Here we go, there we go, full screen. But I'm gonna back out before I get any copyright claims. But you see like Buzzard plays classic 70s, 80s, and so forth game shows for free through Twitch. Um, not that long ago, they had a marathon of Mr. Rogers and Power Rangers and other stuff streaming through there. Amazon now owns Switch. They're really doing a big job bringing more content there. A lot of times, like, premieres for new Amazon Originals will air on Twitch. You get the first episode streaming on there and more. They had a whole Doctor Who marathon for classic Doctor Who content also. So don't discount Twitch just because you think it's about football or about um, video games, whether it be football or not. There's a lot of other stuff from football to Mr. Rogers and more available on it. Now, free movies and TV shows are awesome. There's a lot of times I wanna watch a movie, I just, I wanna pay for it, right? You know, there's sometimes you just want background noise and you don't wanna pay a bunch of money. Tubi advertises themselves as one of the largest catalogs of free movies and TV shows around the web, and they really do a good job of it. You see, they have a, like, not on Netflix, True Grit here, Hugo, a ton of very popular movies and TV shows uh, that you probably know about. I mean, you know, back when these services kind of launched, they had a reputation that there's nothing good on them. Well, we've come a long ways from that day where it was like, there's nothing to watch on here. Um, and they've added a ton, you know, family movies. Uh, here's a holiday section. Uh, Christmas is recently ended, but they're still around. You see tons of different Christmas movies, including atmospheric ones like Christmas music and Christmas candles and fireplaces and like just streaming on here. They rotate this content every month, like all the other services. Would recommend you check it out. Now you don't need an account, it's 100% free, but if you create an account, you can like exit out of a show, come back to it, and then pick up where you left off. Now, the other one like this is Sony Crackle. Now, as you expect, it's Sony, so there's gonna be a ton of Sony content. You may remember this just called Crackle. Sony decided, hey, Sony Crackle's a better name. 
Now you don't need an account, even though I'll ask that. Again though, if you create an account, you can get um, pick up where you left off and do more. Tons of content on here from Sony, Charlie's Angels, um, The Green Hornet, Battle of Los Angeles, uh, Big Lebowski, Super Bad, Alien, um, the, I forget which year this movie came out, but the newer one. Uh, really a good selection of content on here. A few good men, um, older, newer, you name it, it's all on here. It does have a selection of TV shows. I don't want any copyright claims, so I'm going to X out because they play a lot of copyright content. But they have a great selection. They even have Seinfeld episodes. Now, Seinfeld's all on Hulu, but hey, maybe you don't have Hulu. You want to have something in the background. That's the great thing about these. Whether you're maybe watching movies or um, a TV show stream for free as you do your taxes, clean, just answer some emails. It's not a bad idea to have something like Sony Crackle to be um, and more available on it. Next up is TuneIn. Though I want this to kind of represent a whole genre of different uh, music apps. Now, most people, the best sound system in their home is the one connected to their TV. When they have a party or something happening, it's kind of great to have some music going through that system. And to, um, or tune in here, iHeartRadio, Apple Music, and or I don't know, actually, Apple Music coming to um, Echo devices, I don't know if they're on the Fire TV, Amazon Music, excuse me, uh, are all great ways to stream music, um, some of them for free, some of them with a subscription, Pandora is another example, on here through your Fire TV and through your sound system. If you have a strong sound system, it can really sound great, but I would check out something like TuneIn as a way for when you have people over just to have something playing throughout the house. And again, there's a ton of different services out there like TuneIn, iHeartRadio, Pandora, Amazon Music and more, check them out, all out. Next up, now again, this is another one that I want to represent a whole category of Fire TV channels. This is a local um, ABC stations um, app. Now, most markets now have a free app where you live. Maybe not all the stations, but probably one or two where you live has one here on the Fire TV. The great thing about this is you can watch on-demand news. So let's just say, hey, I wanna see what's happening in the world. You can watch replays of recent broadcasts. You can watch um, clips. You and Right down here is like, here's the full um, rebroadcast of them. You can also go in here and say, hey, uh, I just want to know what the weather is. Let's see here. Not only do I get a forecast, I can also go over here, click on the watch live and get a Maybe they're airing live right now, so it may be about show me a live broadcast. If they're not, yeah, this looks like a on-demand version. So they play a um, recap. So you can kind of sit here and say, oh, let's watch that. And you see that they're doing that new thing where it now will shrink down to the minimum corner that they've added. Let, um, so let me see if I can exit all that. Huh, so apparently I got to first go back into it and then exit out. Um, but it's kind of cool that they added the ability to stream it as you're doing other things. So there we go. Now it won't shrink down. So I would recommend checking it out, rather it's to watch recaps, live news streamed live when it's happening, on-demand content like that, um, that the weather video I couldn't get rid of, and more all through your Fire TV, 100% free, and just search. Sometimes you have to search for like the name, sometimes they go by like Central Texas News Now, or maybe it's like the KXVY, whatever the call letters for your station are. You may have to play around with it to find out more. Now, next up is um, internet browsers. Now, there's the Silk browser from Amazon. I'm gonna show up the Fire TV. They're basically exactly the same. And these browsers really launched when YouTube got pulled. So YouTube, and, uh, owned by Google, Google and Amazon had a little falling out. Amazon pulled, or, or Google pulled their YouTube app from the Amazon products. So you weren't able to get an official one, but you can now launch in the browser and watch it in a very similar user interface as using the old YouTube app through your Fire TV and the browser. As you see, this is very similar. Let me skip the sign in real quick. You can see I can go through here and click different videos. Now, you, you know YouTube, YouTube has ton of content, but YouTube's not the only one. A lot of times there still are videos streaming for free on the web with, uh, without a support for a bra or an app on the Fire TV, Apple TV, Roku. Like Me TV has free movies episodes on, or free episodes, I think, no movies, on their app, on their website with a rotating catalog. Hey, if you have a browser like Silk or Firefox, 
you can get it on your Fire TV 100% free. So I'd recommend having that there. And you never know when there'll be some type of event streaming on some website somewhere. Maybe it's a high school basketball game. Maybe your high school football or basketball team streams their games on their website for free. You launch this, you watch your, you're out town traveling, you can watch your son or daughter play some sports maybe. There's all kinds of uses for that. So check it out. All right, so there's my top 10 free Fire TV apps of 2019. Quick recap, you got Hoopla Digital, Take advantage of your public library, folks. Even if it's not their streaming, they have DVDs there typically. Pluto TV, just so much content. You can't even begin to list it. Weather Nation, you never know when there's some big weather event you want to find out about. Have some type of the free news ones, whether it's CBS or one of the other free news services out there. Take advantage of them. Twitch, not just about streaming video games anymore, folks. Tubi and Crackle, both huge catalogs of movies and TV shows. And again, if you remember back in the day when the selection was awful, they've come a long ways. Uh, tune in for all the music, iHeartRadio, Pandora, Amazon Music, and more. Your local news stations, Central Texas News Now is one of the local ones here down in Texas. But check out for other um, great weather and, um, and local news stations. Just search either the name or maybe the call letters of your local station to find it. And then you have the Firefox browser or the Silk browser to be able to access a ton of movies and TV shows through things like YouTube and other uh, websites that allow you to legally stream content through their website. There you go, my top 10. Do you have a suggestion? Leave me a comment, I'd love to hear from you. Hopefully this kind of struck a nerve, something to hear, you're like, ooh, you know, maybe it's Hoopla, maybe it's just a browser, maybe it's uh, to, uh, Tubi or Sony Crackle, maybe I should give them another try. Hopefully this helped you discover something new. Hit that thumbs up, hit the, that subscribe button, it really does help us. And we'll see you back all through 2019 with more tips, tricks, news, and how-to guides.